Hey, Merry Christmas. Welcome back. We're at Luke 2, 8 through 20 today. Now, some of you might have memorized this whole thing. <laughs> uh, my kids wrote a song, Jesus Has Come, from this whole account. And it was really cute when we did the video. We did it at a, a little uh, house that had little sheep running around and a, and a horse and, and everything. And it was really cute and reminded me of this portion. Now there was in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. <laughs> and um, the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly with the angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, saying, You know this, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, let us now go to Bethlehem to see these things which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all those who heard marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things which they had heard and seen, and that was told to them. Amazing, amazing. It, just reading this account just doesn't do it justice. But just what I love is focusing on the shepherds, the angels coming, praising God, could you imagine what that would have been like just seeing the whole sky lit up with angels glorifying God that he was there? I mean, he's in heaven. Then he comes as a baby and they're like, we're going to praise him here. <laughs> and then the shepherds, just like what it says, went, they got a sign, go, go, go see this babe, you know, and they ran and then they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning the child. And that's what we guys, we get to do. We get to proclaim and make known the name of Jesus around. And, you know, and Mary, she knows it's just as the start of what it's going to be like to raise this child. And she pondered it in her heart. And um, what an encouragement to her. It's like, yeah, Joseph, <laughs> this baby is of God. And he continued to get in the encouragement. And she, I'm sure this was an encouragement for her too, to be like, wow. Um, I, we're holding the Messiah. Like, how cool is that? So, um, all right. With the 12 days of Christmas, I, I mean, I'm not doing this justice at all. Please get into it, read it yourself, and, and glean from the Lord. Um, uh, this is just so beautiful. I mean, I just love it so much. And again, um, make songs, write songs, praise God for all of these things, you know, because we have Jesus. We're on the other side. <laughs> he's already come. He's risen again and he's ascended and he said, hey, I'm coming back. So we're looking up going, hey, we're looking for your return, Lord. So anyway, I'm excited. Um, okay. So the 12 days of Christmas backwards, we're at five golden rings. Everybody sings that song, five golden rings. That's my best, um, shouldn't have that for trying to be operatic whatever anyway five golden rings and for the christmas part of that it's the five first books of the old testament do you guys know what those are by heart genesis exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy and those are the first five books of the old testament and the jews um believe in those as well and they study them and we have them and they are just the setting of the scene of life and the Messiah and the redemption story. And the great things is, is that it didn't stop there, that Jesus came. He's the fulfillment of all the law and the prophets. 
And um, if you continue on through the Jesus story, you know, after um, he's crucified, the veil in the temple was torn from top to bottom, opening up a relationship that man can now be with God in the presence of God, um, you know, and that one day we will be. So it's just like, finally, God can commune with man, you know, again, um, in a special way that um, is through Jesus. And that's what the Bible says. We have to come through Jesus um, to get to God. And he is our mediator and he is the one that bridges the gap between man and God um, for coming to this earth. So that is the Pentateuch and the five old books of the Old Testament. So you guys, we're going to continue on, keep reading through and uh, be blessed. Um, Christ is born. He's come with a mission to save and to set the people free. So bless you guys. And I continue to just remember that as you're doing all your Christmas shopping and Christmas holiday baking and all this stuff, just remember it's about Jesus. Keep the focus about Jesus and sharing his name with others. God bless you guys. Merry Christmas.